Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for June 17th, 2020. We are going to start with the SPY. Yeah, the SPY's up a little bit this morning. 315 has been a tough level. Yeah, I keep watching it, test it, go back, testing, going back. It's been consolidating. So therefore, I picked 316 for the level. Is, yep, if we can go above that, the sky is clear. That's really key. We were unable to go above that yesterday. We went to 315.64. However, we will be bearish below 312 for a retracement trade uh, down. Let's go to the E-minis. E-minis, bullish above 31.50 and bear below 31.10. Let's go to the Russell. Dark pull was pretty quiet yesterday as well. IWM bullish above 146.25. It's the next dollar 25 increment above. Bear below 142.80. The QQQs we're going to be bullish above 245.25. All right, gave it an extra quarter. You could see it went to 245.22 earlier. Yep. So I wanted to make a new high. Bear below 241.40, and they're pretty wide ranges this morning. Um, let's go to the NASDAQ futures. Bullish above uh, 10,050, nice even number there. Bear below 99.60. And let's go over to the oil futures. All right, oil. Look, we hit this uh, Camarilla pivot and down we went to the pivot. We've kind of been um, trying to hug it this morning, looks like, trying to hang on all its might. Uh, I'm gonna be bullish above 39. Yeah, if we go above this Camarilla today. Oh, the daily chart is pretty clear up ahead, but I like to break above 39. And bearish below 38. Yeah, if we can't hug on to that pivot, look out below. Let's go to the... Uh, Gold features. Let's pull those up. So oh, we just got a pretty big volume bar that just came in. Uh, I will be bullish above 1725. Yeah, that's been really key resistance this morning. Bear below 1715. Yep, if we go below this Camarilla down there. All right, let's go to the individual stocks. Pull this up, Carnival. So I know it had earnings. We have no idea what's gonna happen with these cruise ships when they're gonna start cruising again. Um, but we can trade the stocks. It's kind of stuck though right now. Let's just pull this even bigger for you guys to see. Yeah, it's a big fat doji. This is more indecisive. It doesn't know if it wants to go up or go down. Hmm, it's all about how it's gonna close today. Yeah, for me, if it closes really strong above this 8 EMA with good volume, that's that's going to be bullish. And if it closes below a week with a lot of volume, that's going to be bearish. That's really all that matters. But for a day trade, bullish above 2025, bearish below 19 for CCL. Let's go to uh, Norwegian. Yeah, Norwegian. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 2050 if it can climb above this 8 EMA. That's going to be bullish. And we're going to be bearish below 1850. Yeah, below this 20 simple moving average, there's a nice pocket right there. So in here is my no trading zone. There's a lot of moving averages. Can sit there and ping pong all day long, but I'm waiting for the breakout. Let's go to American Airlines, bullish above 1760. And bear below 1680. A lot of things kind of stuck this morning. Not sure how today's trading is going to be, but IQ was a great whisper yesterday. Has a lot of pre-market volume today. And there's room to go up and down. So bullish above 24.50 and bear below 23. All right, so these are key. I looked at the pivots, all that good stuff. So bullish here and bearish for retracement right over there. Let's go to UAL. UAL, bullish above 41.25, bear below 
80 for UAL. Let's go to Delta. Yeah, all the airlines are on the uh, volume list this morning. We're going to be bullish above 32, bear below 30.50. GLD had some unusual volume this morning. Yeah, ranking up pretty high. So watch GLD today. Going to be bearish below uh, 160.75. And I'm going to be bullish above 162.50. Yeah, so right now it's in a no trading zone, but here's my up and here is the down trade. It's kind of stuck in between the 50 simple moving average and the four and the eight. So again, waiting for a, a breakout or a breakdown. Bank of America. We are going to be bullish above 26.20 and bear below 25.20. Five. We have uh, quite a few sets of dark pull prints, some above, some below. Yeah, so it's a battle. We'll see. We'll see who wins this one. It might not happen until the earnings come out a couple weeks, but we can definitely day trade it. Um, Nicola, NKLA, bullish above 67.50. A lot of volume pre-market this morning. They make um, auto parts, I believe. They're in the auto industry. Um, bullish above 67.50, bear below 64. So the trade is really going to be from the four down to the eight, or the sky is really clear up ahead. We shall see. Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, bullish above 29.20 and bear below 28 for Wells Fargo. AMD, a lot of pre market volume. Bullish above 55.50 and bearish below 53.50. Yeah, there's a lot of moving averages here. I did not want to get you guys tangled in this stuff. Nope. So bear below here and the sky is clear here. If it doesn't make it to those levels, we don't trade it today. There you have it. Those are your whispers for June 17th. We had a great trading day uh, yesterday, all live trading event. I know a lot of you guys have the app, so it was great to, uh, to really have some one-on-one -on -one with you guys yesterday. Hope you learned a lot. Until next time, happy trading. My secret